What is up, Storm fans? I am Brian Cook, and while the only Storm spell you're going to find in this deck today is Fluster Storm, we are playing Hive Mind Combo, a deck that was, and you're not going to believe me here, some would consider it to be the best deck of the Mental Misstep era because it didn't play spells that cost one mana. Instead, you played Impulse and some other cards. At least it was the best combo deck, if not the best deck in the format. Since then, Hive Mind has taken a backseat to more common show and tell variants, but today we're bringing it back. And the idea behind this deck is you want to cast show and tell. Okay, that's step number one. And you have some lands to help accelerate you into it. So you have Ancient Tomb, City of Trader. So typically a turn two combo deck. In theory, you could turn one with the absolute perfect hand if you have a Lotus Petal. So show and tell on the stack. You put in Hive Mind, okay, which says whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, each player copies that spell. Each of those players may choose new copies for their copy. Okay, so we have this really convoluted six man enchantment in play. You then cast Pact of the Titan, Slaughter Pact, and then try to get them. I mean, in theory, you could also set it up with a Pact of Negation, that's possible, but you want them to die to the Pact of Negation, Summoner's Pact. I'm sorry, Summoner's Pact isn't in here. Pact of the Titan, Slaughter Pact combo deck. That's the game plan. Uh, you could, in fact, build a version with uh, Summoner's Pact for all the Spirit Guide. That is possible, but that's not what we're doing today. So that's how this deck typically wins. That said, it's not the only combo in this deck. We have Forbidden Orchard, which might seem a little bit weird. It's this classic five-color land from Champions of Kamigawa that says whenever you tap Forbidden Orchard, you give your opponent a 1-1 Colorless Spirit Creature token. Pretty sweet, commonly used with Oath of Druids and Vintage. Well, with Sudden Substitution, which is from Commander 19, you can exchange control of a spell and a creature. So you give them the creature, you then take the creature, and instead you give them a Pact of the Titan. Or Slaughter Pact, or Pact Negation. I mean... And then they die to that trigger. So we're really looking to kill our opponent with packed cards. That's what this deck does. You have some soothing out in here between Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain, all those classics. You get to back up your combo with Days, Force of Will, and four Pact of Negation. So this deck is really, really sweet. Happy to be playing it today. Uh, we do have some cards on the sideboard like Fluster Storm, if we'll let me ever zoom in. Hydro Blast, Echoing Truth. So there's a lot of blast effects in general. So we have three reds and then one blue. In general, I said that a lot so far, this deck tech. My bad. I'll try to choose some different words. I think I would like to see something else in the sideboard. Like I'd be really interested in ley lines, maybe like three white and three black, picking up from a deck like Living End and Modern. I find that a lot of these cards end up being a little bit lackluster, like a braid. Hercules Recall, Meltdown, like these cards are all fine, but you don't need so many of them. And that's my big thing here. So I think I'd rather see some Ley Lines to beat discard decks, like a Reanimator, for example. Same thing with Ley Line of Sanctity. But this is not my deck list. This deck is Fujiwara Ren's deck list. They took second place in a event in Japan. So I just decided to run back the experts list. I mean, I could be wrong about the ley lines, but that's my one qualm with this list. I think in the main deck, I think I'd want to see like one more Forbidden Orchard, maybe over the fourth Volcanic, and then the ley lines in the board. But I think this deck list is really sweet, and this person did really well, so they probably know better than I do. But that's what we're going to do here today. I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully we crush, we get that 5-0 undefeated trophy with Hive Mind. How sweet would that be? But for now, I'm just going to hop on in and take it one round by round. I can't talk today. Please forgive me. Uh, let's hop on in and just play some magic. I'm going to quit talking forever. See you in the first round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. I hope you're ready to hive mind it up because we are on the play for match number one. We've opened up Pact of the Titan, which is pretty sweet. Show and tell. Uh, we've got everything here other than like a soul land. 
do I risk this? We have four soul lands in the deck, otherwise we need to draw running lands. I have no idea what our opponent's playing. I'm going to try it. The one downside of Magic Online user name Bryant underscore Cook is Chalice of the Void on Zero is very good against the Epic Storm. It happens to also be good against this deck, so we'll see how many Chalice Zeros we see today. Forbidden Orchard on the table. Pass the turn. Windswept Heath. Okay. Later, Fetching with the Heath. Savannah. And it looks like our opponent's passing back to us. Nope, just trying to be sneaky, switching to second main. Sure, yeah, you got it. Draw. Okay, I'll take a land. Now we just need to draw one more mana source. Flagstone. So that's a land that gets them another land once they sacrifice it to the Elvish Reclaimer. Land off the top rope, please. Ding dong! Always had it. I don't know why you ever even doubted me. You should have just believed in the process. Show and tell. Just trying to do a little bit of showing, a little bit of telling. No big deal. No big deal. I can already tell I'm going to love this deck. All right, Hive Mind has entered the battlefield. They put an Urza Saga into play. Okay, the Saga can trigger. So they can sacrifice the Flagstones and then go get a red source, but I believe they're still one mana short. So let's just cast this Pact of the Titan. And now we will pass the turn. I don't know how it works with Pact and Negation if I try to do something like that. Am I dead here? No, I can't be dead here. They can only get four lands in play. Plus they have like an ancient tomb. Why would I say that out loud? That doesn't do it. Oh, they have a crop rotation. So... We'll pack the negation this. That would have been a sweet line by the opponent, though. I didn't see it, but that was sweet. And we win. Turn three. Hive mind combo. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. We probably want the abrade. Like, we only have a couple pieces of removal on the sideboard. Okay. Do we want Blood Moon in this matchup? That's another question. Probably. So we need four cards to come out here. This is tough. I don't really know how to sideboard with this deck, so bear with me. I wonder if I'm allowed to shave on Pact Negations because our opponent isn't a blue deck. But then I have concerns about not having enough packs, so I think no. So my initial thought is definitely Preordain. Hmm. Maybe two sudden substitutions. I mean, I'm not confident with this one, but it's what I'm going to try here. The reason that I'm boarding out the sudden substitutions is I feel like everything else is a vital card to this deck. You could say maybe a pair of days on the play, but like traditionally, if you're going to board out days, it should be on the draw because you don't want to uh, like offset the tempo loss. And I'm not sure. So the other card you could probably board out here is Pact of Negation. I think you want to leave in Lotus Petal because this deck needs a lot of mana in order to win. So here we have the High Mind. We need Show and Tell and then a Pact. This seems good to me. Oh, I forgot. We were on the draw, so I could have boarded out Dazes. Whoops. Sorry. Once again, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't even have any excuses. It's currently like a lovely Saturday afternoon. All right, I just went for a bike ride. Uh, got plenty of sleep. I just a little space brain today. I'm going to keep this. 
I guess like another reason to keep in packs is that our opponent is likely going to be boarding in red elemental blasts and pyroblasts and all that good stuff. So we want to be able to interact with those. Caracas. Mox Diamond pitching Yavamaya. Outland Liberator. Okay. We ripped the show and tell. Let's fetch, grab a basic island, and ponder. Blood Moon. I think I'm going to shuffle this. A Braid, not a bad draw. I also don't know if Outland Liberator even matters against us. They play the Yavamaya. Knight of the Reliquary. They've tapped out. If I draw a Pact here, they are dead. Draw. Another Hive Mind. I'm going to Brainstorm. Lotus Petal Pact. Nope. Let's get rid of one Hive Mind and the other Basic Island. We'll fetch. Grab the Island. Cast Ponder. There's a slaughter pack, but they have a mox diamond. I have enough to. Okay, this works. I can abrade the mox diamond next turn. Let's see what our opponent does here. So, Jiri step. Sure thing. They gave their creature protection from blue. And now they're attacking. Draw. Ancient Tomb. Lotus Petal. Let's destroy this Mox Diamond. Show and tell. They have two in hand. Mind Break Trap. I guess I should have been playing around that. And I'm a lotus petal away from hard casting the hive mind. So I have three show and tells left in my deck. So I, in theory, can ponder into one next turn. They find wasteland. That might actually do it here. Yep, and now they can attack for seven. I might have lost this one to Mindbreak Trap. Damn. Okay, I guess we have an Echoing Truth I could ponder into. That's not going to do it. All right, we're going to game number three. Mindbreak Trap. That's going to be on my radar now. Hmm. Maybe I should be leaving this in. I'm going to get rid of the Blood Moons. Submit. Yeah, I know that Blood Moons effective against the, like, Dark Depth stack, but I just don't really feel like it's what we want to be doing in this matchup. And maybe that means that Blood Moon just shouldn't be in the board. On the play. It just doesn't do anything. Mulligan. All right, we have the substitution. We have everything I need other than mana. Keep bottom a braid. Play volcanic, play the lotus petal, and we'll pass the turn. I'm a soul land away from victory. And, well, our point of playing a creature. Savannah. There's a creature. Come on, deck, please. Please give me that soul land. We have four of them. Pretty please. Come on. Womp womp. Have to pass. Thespian stage. And they're passing. Draw. So that means that any mana source will do it now. I don't need to draw a soul land. 
They sacrifice Savannah. For a dark depths, yep. So if this is Yavimaya, they're representing lethal. It's now or never. I need to draw the mana source. Please draw. Ding. So here's the thing. Should I let them do it? And then I can take their um their dark depths. I mean, I think I should do that for the memes. They're thinking long and hard here. Our, our opponent's finally taken an action. I almost fell asleep there. But now we get to steal a Merit Lodge. I can cross this off my bucket list. Hold control. Cast Pact to the Titan. Tap for blue. Sudden substitution. I will have a Merit Lodge. Thank you very much. With double counter backup. But you do get the sweet 4-4. Four -four. I, I mean, I thought that was a fair trade. I don't know what you think, but hey, I have a Merit Lodge. Pretty sweet. All right, that's enough of that for now. Let's head on over to match number two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're facing Spyman. Last time that I played them, they were on a fair blue deck. They used to be a Epic Storm pilot, and then they switched over to uh, the actual dark side. And here, wow, green-white depths again. Let's see if we can draw an Ancient Tomb. Draw. Not quite. Let's fetch. Basic Island. Preordain. Looking for lands. I will take this Scalding Tarn, that's for sure. Pass the turn. The opponent plays a Flagstones and they're just passing the turn. Draw. Slaughter Pack. Okay, so it looks like we're a little bit short of winning here. Let's cast this Brainstorm. Io, this is a win next turn. I think we just put back... All of these. Pass the turn. Got a stacked hand here. They use the Reclaimer. That's a Thespian stage. Dark Depths, I can't believe it. I didn't see that coming. How crazy. In our upkeep, we will fetch with the Scalding Tarn. Grab another basic island, I guess. Force of Will, that's a good one. Tap this for green. Might as well play out the Lotus Petal. Show and tell. How do you feel about Hive Mind, opponent? Slaughter Pact your Knight. So now they also have a copy of Slaughter Pact. My copy of Slaughter Pact will fizzle. And now, why don't we both get a couple of 4-4s? Four a hey, Love it. Alright, so this time we are on the draw. So I'm going to board in the Blood Moons. Bring in this Echoing Truth. I'm not sure on the Abrade. It ended up mattering in the previous match, but... It felt like a little bit like a fluke. So we're at 64. I'm going to try boarding out two days on the draw. And then preordain. So let's try this. Game number two. We have a sudden substitution and a ton of mana. Let's try it. Run it with a very fast mulligan to five. Flagstones, deafening silence. Yep. I boarded in the Aquin Truth, I believe. 
I did. So it is possible for us to beat this deafening silence. Not with sudden substitution, though. Dryad Arbor, and they're passing the turn. Draw. Ponder. Cast that. Blood Moon. I am interested in you. We will pass the turn again. Thespian Stage. Sylvan, that's fine. Let's go grab the basic island. In the intro, I talked a little bit about wanting a third Forbidden Orchard. Maybe it's just these matchups, but I'm also thinking about the four copies of Days. I don't think you can actually afford to cut a Volcanic or an island. That was just a wrong opinion. Hive Mind is actually pretty good here. Blood Moon. They are now at 12. Another Flagstones. Legendary rule still applies, but apparently they don't get the trigger. Draw. We will pass the turn. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill this Dryad Arbor or not. There's a depth. So now if they have a way to blow up the Blood Moon, I'm in trouble. We'll take one down to 17. Draw for turn. Another copy of Hive Mind. Pass. If they force a Vigor, I think I can sudden substitution that. Maybe I can't because I don't have a creature to give them. They pass with the Dryad Arbor. What's that about? They just accidentally missed their attack step, or is this a real thing? Hmm. I'm going to kill the Dryad Arbor. Untap, draw. Cannot play Hive Mind yet. We're going to pass. They find basic planes. So we're really just looking to find our Echoing Truth, but we don't have any search. And if we pass the turn after casting a spell due to this Deafening Silence, they can end step blow up the Blood Moon, get their Dark Depths and kill me. Or their Merit Lodge, I should say. So I could have played Hive Mind there. I didn't. Maybe I'm just being a coward. Draw. Pass the turn. Caracas. Brainstorm. We find a show and tell. My fear is that it's just not good enough. Do I put myself intentionally dead to Force of Vigor? All right, hive mind. They countered, we have to pass. They have four in hand. I feel like if I play show and tell, it's just going to bite me in the butt. Because they can allow show and tell to resolve, put a Knight of the Rail Query onto the battlefield, and then blow up my hive mind with another blast. But there is the off chance that they just counterspell the, the show and tell. Try another hive mind. Yep. Well, no force of vigor, thankfully. But at this point, I really just need to find the echoing truth. The stack being like very cold, the deafening silence is not a great thing. Another show and tell. We'll just pass. Play another land. Draw for turn. Back to the Titan. I mean, I could just cast this and then start the beat down. They're at eight. I think that's my plan here. I'm going to go pack beat down. Discard Lotus Petal. 
Cast back to the Titan. We have a 4-4 giant creature. This league is the best. I love it. You just have giant creatures. Hi uh. What are you going to do about a 4-4? Four four? It's so huge. We did it. Yes. 2-0 with hive mind combo. I would have never thought, and I truly mean this, I would never thought I would have won a game by attacking with a giant token when I signed up for this. This league is just wild. All right, there's still three more matches. I hope they're as good as these first two. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we are on the draw. I'm going to keep this. We're lacking a packed effect, but the rest of this hand is pretty solid. Wooded foothills, okay. Draw for turn. Down with the force of will. Our Wooded Foothills opponent does not fetch. Mountain. Are you playing goblins? What's going on here? Gotta be goblins, right? This removes a Simeon Spirit Guide. I mean, it is a goblin. But typically, Moon Stompy doesn't play fetches. Uh, I'm going to force a will... Getting rid of Brainstorm. So we're like one foot in each camp here. So you don't really want to commit one way or another. And we have two Brainstorms. And the second one's going to be a little bit awkward anyway. So I think that this decision is fine. Draw. You find another copy of Force of Will. I'm going to cast Brainstorm. All right. We find a Pact of Negation. I think we put the Forbidden Orchard on top in case we need it, and then we pass. So current game plan is they play a creature this turn, we pack their next spell, we then sudden substitution that, and then win that way. Ancient Tomb. Four mana. Free squad. We are going to let that go. Okay, we will fetch. Grab a basic, draw for turn. Days. Days is reasonable here. So it does look like it's a moon stompy variant, but seeing the wooded foothills is very odd. All right, time to hold control. We're going to cast Pact, blue, sudden sub substitution, and now we choose the Firefox squad. So they gain control of Pact and Negation. Pretty powerful. And now they have to pay for Pact on their upkeep. This deck is a blast. I know that I've said this like four times now, but it's true. Attack with the Firefox squad. Pass the turn. They have a Pact and Negation trigger. Okay. Running hot. So we probably want Hydro Blast. This Echoing Truth. Urkel's Recall. Meltdown. Braid. These are effects we're interested in. What to take out? We're at 65 at the moment, which is a lot. Maybe you just take out days? Like a preordain? I'm gonna... This is... Maybe I should have the meltdown in. Yeah. 
All right. Let's submit this, I guess. Game number two. So we've opened up Sudden Substitution again with Force Backup, Echoing Truth. What we need is a second blue source. This seems like a no-brainer to me. Mountain, and they're passing the turn. Draw. Another Ancient Tomb. Didn't really need that. Forest. So that would make the Wooded Foothills make sense. Here's a Chrome Mox. And Prince of Blood Moon. Rabble. Going to let this go. It might bite me in the butt, but I think I'm supposed to. Okay. Draw. Another sudden substitution. We just need to draw another blue source. Three mana. Lelia. I'm going to force it will that one. All right, so now they can attack with their goblins. We'll take six. Ouch. I'm at 12. We can always Echoing Truth the tokens next turn. Hive Mind. Um, think I'm supposed to pass here. Land number four. Another Lelia. Attempt to Echoing Truth the Goblin Tokens. So now we'll take uh, five damage here. So I'm at seven. I think I'm dead unless I rip like... Uh, what is it called? They've played a land, I think. So I don't know if they're allowed to play that. I guess we, if we draw exactly Pack to the Titan here. Hope that our opponent messes up and casts a spell. I mean, that's got to be the real plan here. Like, let's this resolve and then cast something. Come on. Please. Nope, we're dead. They got me. So I needed to draw a different pact there or just another blue source. Instead, we drew three of our four soul land effects. I'm going to get rid of this meltdown. Bring the preordain back in. Do I want to take out the lotus petals? Like, is speed really what we're going for here? Okay, um, I haven't even seen any artifacts yet. So let's get rid of the Hergles. I'm going to submit this. Nope. So I'm two lands away. Keep bottom the force. Turn go. Ancient Tomb, Chrome Mox, yeah. They pitch a Simeon Spirit Guide. Fable. Am I supposed to daze here? If I get blown out by another Spirit Guide. All right, that happened. That's good. Draw. There's land number three. We need one more. Preferably a soul land, so that way I can speed up a turn. It's worth noting that Pact of the Titan doesn't look so good against this. Counter the Goblin Rabble Master. They have three in hand. Prismatic Vista. They have a Blast. Yep. The Rabble is entered. Okay, draw. Did not need this. Not looking good for us at the moment. They're one mana away from being able to pay for Pact of the Titan, and I need to draw a soul land like immediately in order to win this. We're going to take six. Fable. 
which gives them the treasure. Uh, I might have lost this now. Damn, we're too slow. Too slow. They discard a seeming spear guide and a pyroblast. How good is that hand? Legion war boss. I've got to be dead here. So if I draw slaughter pact, no, because they get a treasure. Yeah, the the fable is what got me this game. I mean, there's a number of things really, but yeah, this is lethal. Bummer, we're now two and one. We will not be getting an undefeated trophy. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, we are facing Clog W, Combo Enthusiast. We are on the play. Let's see if we can get another victory here. All right, so we need another Soul Land. I think we keep this. It's going to be tougher to use Sudden Substitution against them because they're a deck that doesn't... Well, typically they play decks that don't play a lot of creatures. And a fast mulligan to five. All right, it looks like they ended up mulliganing to four. Volcanic Island passed the turn. Mox Opal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Mox Opal. Legend Rules. And it looks like they're on my favorite deck, the Epic Storm. Unfortunately, we have a daze here. They're on zero cards. So we should be able to win. It. If I mean, if I win to lose to this, I'm going to be sad. All right, we picked up a Force of Will, passed the turn. Brainstorm. We should probably cast that. We found City of Traders. What we're lacking here is a way to cast the Sudden Substitution. Pass the turn. We need them to have a creature spell, pretty much. So we have to find the... Uh, what is it called? The Forbidden Orchard. Or we have to... Find Show and Tell plus Hive Mind. Brainstorm again. We don't need this pact or this one. Thunder. There's Show and Tell, but no Hive Mind, so we'll shuffle. That's the turn. So right now we're giving off Sneak and Show vibes. We have three in hand. Draw. There we go. Blue, blue. That's weird. It didn't give me the mana off my volcanic island. That's a moto bug for you. Let's hold priority on this pact. Oh, weird. It then just untapped my volcanic. All right. So we have gotten game number one over the epic storm. It hurts my heart, but we did it. We definitely want Fluster, Hydroblast, Surgicals, maybe this Meltdown. I don't know how much I love Blast effects against TES. There's really not that many blue cards. Having a target for Slaughter Pact is going to be very difficult, so we can get rid of that. Probably take out Pond, uh, Preordains, I mean. Sudden Substitution is terrible here. Probably get rid of those. So now we need to find two more cards. Maybe it is the Blasts. It's that or bring back in Preordain. Let's try this, I suppose. Hive Mind, Meltdown. And then obviously the Fluster. They took a mulligan to six. We'll keep this. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lotus Petal. Ancient Tomb. So it's not the Epic Storm. The Epic Gamble. Okay, so now they have a relay for three. 
Yeah, it's the Epic Gamble. Okay. So I feel less bad about beating them now. They have two in hand, draw, days. Hmm, two in hand. I think I'm going to just pass here. They played the Shatter Skull from Exile. The Lotus Petal. You have a defense grid. They play the Rite of Flame, two cards in hand. Please no payoff. Bergy, one in card. It's the Echo! No! Yeah, that hurts. We are likely dead here. Hit the F6 key and let our opponent go nuts. Bummer. I'm going to pick this up. Um, I mean, I guess maybe I should... Okay. We can pick it up now. We're dead. Game 3 coming up. So I actually like all three blasts against the Epic Gamble because they're so reliant on um, the uh, Echo Vagons. So I, I do like that. I don't think I want Meltdown here. Sudden Substitution, is that what we want? I don't think so. Let's keep this. Going into Game 3 versus the Epic Gamble, we're on the play. Can I keep that? So this is a show and tell away. Get rid of the Pyroblast. All right. Basic Island passed the turn. They're on six cards. City of Traders pass. Unstep, let's brainstorm. We did not find the show and tell. Put back these. Untap, take a draw. Ponder. Shuffle. Not looking so good for us at the moment. The Lotus Petal. Opal. Diamond. Three mana for a Bergy. Okay. They're passing the turn. I'm going to brainstorm here. Okay, uh, this should get the job done. They have seven in play. Show and tell. Put in hive mind. Cast Pact of the Titan. So their pact will resolve. I am now going to Pact Negation my pact. Okay, so now Pact Resolves. Play Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. So they have two packs to pay for. We got there. We did it. We're three and one. One match left to go. That was exciting. Love this deck. All right. See you in the final round. That wasn't even a word. Round. There we go. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final round, we are on the draw. The hand is lacking a show and tell, but it's pretty good otherwise, so let's keep it. And uh, hope for the best. Volcanic Island. Channeler. Okay, so you're playing the more, format's most boring deck. Blue Red Delver. Mishra's Bobble. They draw off Bobble. We draw for turn. I'm going to just play Island to pass here. I don't want to play into Daze. 
not like we're doing anything on turn two anyway. Chandler gets in for one. We'll fall to 19. Draw for turn. Ponder. Fetch. Preordain. I think I have to bottom both of these. Okay, we are officially a show and tell away. Chandler getting in. 17. Land number three for them. And they're just passing. Don't I wish I had that, uh, that Forbidden Orchard now? I guess I don't need it. That's a lie. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's ponder. I think I keep these. Pass the turn. So Channeler is going to get in again. They have six in hand. And step will brainstorm. City of Traders. It doesn't really help me that much here. I mean, it allows me to play around D's actually. So let's put back those. Fetch. And we'll brainstorm again. Show and tell. Hmm. I think I might actually want the. How do I want to do this? Maybe I put the sudden substitution on the bottom. So we'll play the city, play Lotus Petal. So the current line would beat double days. But the question is, how many forces do they have? So we're going to hold priority, cast Pack to the Titan. Sudden substitution. So now they have control of Pact of the Titan, or will have control. They cannot respond to this due to sudden substitution having split second. So now Pact of the Titan. I believe our opponent is dead. All right, Pact of the Titan trigger for our opponent. We are one game away from a 4-1. Hive mind combo, let's go. Probably want this Hydro Blast, the Fluster. Maybe even these blasts as well. Probably the defense grids. So many cards. 67. Well, I definitely want to board out the preordains. That's an easy one. The question after that is what else do you board out, right? Part of me wonders, like, and this is maybe a little bit of crazy talk, but what if you lean in more on sudden substitution? You can just board out all of the show and tell hive mind stuff. So that's 57. You could board in three more cards. So you could bring in the preordains again and just be like a more consistent deck with a lot more interaction. Maybe something like this. I'm going to try it at least for game number two. Well, this is a hand. Keep. Misty Rainforest. Volcanic Island. Delver. Five cards in the opponent's hand. Draw. I'm going to attempt to blast this Delver right away. We're pretty far from winning, so that's the thought process behind getting rid of the Delver. Wasteland, yep. Volcanic Down. Channeler. They have four in hand. Let's attempt to blast the Channeler. Good riddance. Island brainstorm so I, I generally don't like this play pattern because it means that you can't play a fetch land after and get a perfect brainstorm so you are required in this deck to then redraw that card unless you have exactly channeler plus uh, mistress bobble to then mill the top card so you just get punished a little bit for your sequencing force 
Let's try playing a grid. And that resolves. I mean, we're pretty far away from being able to win at the moment. Steam vents. Draw for turn. It's a land, but we don't have anything else going on here. Playing Brainstorm in their combat step. Sure. And they're passing with five in hand. Draw. Volcanic. I think we just want to pass here. The opponent's passing back, respecting the grid. Little do they know that I have nothing going on here. So we draw Orchard, which is great. I'm going to play out the turn, let the city die. So I need to draw a Sudden Substitution followed by a Pact. They forget about Defense Grid? They must have. Brainstorm. We could really use a Brainstorm right now. Fix up this hand. Draw for turn. Alright, so we found the Pact. We just need to draw a Sudden Substitution now. And they have land five, so now they can pay for Pact of the Titan. So that means it's a little bit awkward. There's always Slaughter Pact. We only have one of those, though. Ponder. Shuffle that. Yes. We found the substitution. Solver triggers. Flips to expressive iteration. Okay. They play Dragon's Reach Channeler. Sure thing. I need to draw Slaughter Pact. Draw for turn. Another Pact of the Titan. I think I'm supposed to just pass the turn. Expressive Iteration. Okay. They mill a daze. They find Wasteland on it. Not good for the home team. We're falling to 11 here. They destroy the orchard. Brainstorm just became my best draw into Slaughter Pact plus land. Hmm. I think I've lost this one at this point. Mystic Sanctuary. Getting Expressive Iteration. Iteration again. They kept a card on top this time. They exile Brainstorm. They play a Flooded Strand. We're taking six down to five. Okay. One in 42. I guess we can make this one in 41. Draw for turn. That's not going to do it. And we are headed to game number three. This deck felt a little too reactive that game. I'm starting to second guess this plan. Whoops. Did not want to click on Ponder. So if we brought out Preordain, get rid of this Abraid. Try bringing these back in. So that's 65 cards, which is a ton. Hmm. Let's get rid of the Hydro Blast. That's 64. What if we just take out Lotus Petals? Is that crazy? Shave a Blast. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to try this out, though. On the play for game number three. So we will not lose the Wasteland. Uh, I guess that's one benefit here. Maybe the Santa Mulligan, but I'm just going to sit back and try it. Ponder. This actually isn't that bad. 
It means that we're essentially a show and tell away from being able to try to win. They fetch with Flooded Strand. They grab a Volcanic Island. Dollar of Secrets. You got it. Play the Scalding Turn past the turn. Delver Triggers. Pyroblast. They attack with Delver. We fall to 17. In my upkeep, I'm going to fetch with this turn. We don't want to draw another land. Grab the island. Draw for turn. Drew another land. Okay. Scalding turn. Pass. Land number three for the opponent. We will fall the 13th life. And I'm going to thin the deck again. Draw for turn. Force of will. It's not looking super great for us at the moment. Delver's going to knock us down to nine. Channeler. Draw for turn. We're going to blast. We can maybe try to buy some time with this Pyroblast. Let's kill the Delver. They Hydroblast it. Okay. I'm not going to fight there. Sure thing. So we fall the five. Blue card? Nope. So if we drew a blue card here, I could try to beat the Pyroblast in their hand with double backup. But right now I know that I can't. And they have... So it's weird because if I wait a turn, I also can't force back up anymore either. Yep. Let's tap six mana for a hive mind, just like we drew it up. They have days. I mean, this is what happens. Like, I'm not terribly surprised by this. We know that they have Pyroblast, so we're just dead in the water. I have mind. And that's the match. So we went three and two, losing to the Epic Gamble and Blue Red Delver. I think the biggest weakness with this deck is I think the main deck, honestly, it's pretty close to perfect. I don't love a lot of these sideboard options. Uh, I just feel like it's too much randomness. I would have preferred to see some more streamlined stuff. We didn't face any discard decks, so the Leyline of Sanctities wouldn't have come up. But like Leyline of the Void is a card I would have loved. Uh, that card would have beaten the Epic Gamble. Um, I don't know. Like The Abrade felt a little wishy-washy. We only have one answer to Deafening Sounds. I think that's a little odd. I don't know if you want Defense Grid and all these blasts. Like It's a little... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? counterintuitive or counterproductive because like you're boarding in one mana counters and then you're making them more expensive with defense grid so you're not actually playing to any specific game plan like if you're going to do this just play four grids so i didn't love that the blood moons ended up being fine uh but really i think the cyborg needs work and the main deck was pretty great i really enjoyed it I had a blast playing this deck. If you're looking for a fun legacy deck to play, I would strongly recommend this deck. Uh, but that's what I've got for today. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.